I've always had a dream that I might be invited to be in a Coen Brothers film. And uh, I was delighted when they uh, asked me to be, be in this film, Hail Caesar, play a rather fastidious British film director from the 1950s. And it was a great scene, and I love their work. I've admired their work for a long, long time. And, um, never imagined that, you know, I would, that, that the cards would fall in such a way that I would be involved, but anyway, they have, so it's great. I've dipped my toe in the waters of directing a bit, but also this character is very, very amusingly written, and I think one can identify bits of British actors slash directors who have, I mean, there's bits of people from the past, whether it's, whether, whether it's a combination of David Lee and Noel Coward, Laurence Olivier, or Orson Welles, or, well, he's not English, but I mean, the, set, the sort of maestro, the cultivated maestro director um, with a slight theatrical quality to, to him or her. Yeah, that's that, that feeling, I think. I hope he's a, a Western actor, cowboy actor, who's now in a sort of drawing room drama with a hint of adultery going on and people in tuxes and ball gowns and slightly campy pink set. And so he's, that, it's, not his, it's not his world at all. Uh, I think the sort of nuances and um, sort of virtuoso ease of delivery that Lawrence Lorenz is looking for, Hobie can't, doesn't have immediate, immediate access to. <laughs> So I end up drilling him in, in one, one simple sentence, which he, <laughs> poor guy, is so intimidated by Lawrence that, of course, he, he finds it harder and harder. I say it's a film set in the 50s, centred around the, the studio fixer, who has to make sure that everything runs smoothly and that reputations stay untarnished and that the films, you know, run on time and has to avoid scandal. And I think that that in itself is enough for people to... Find, can see the comic and dramatic value in that. Hi, here's an interesting movie fact for you. Each frame of the CGI scenes in Jane Cameron's Avatar, 1 24th of a second, took an average of 47 hours to render. Can you believe it? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.